Hello there, Guardians! Destiny Tank King 2.0 patch is out now. And I have to say, I really have a love-hate relationship with the patch. I'll be glad when the Taken King finally comes out next week. I haven't tried Crucible like probably a majority of people have. I've been just seeing uh, what's been changed in uh, just the environment. So let's uh, take a look at this. Let's see what's different here. Music is different obviously at the beginning. Logo is different. As you see now, we have our uh, light levels and start of our Gamora score on our cards, or emblems, whatever, player cards. Same differ, really. Be honest. Oh, no, the people don't have helmets here. It's all right. And of course, I'll be the hunter. The master race of destiny. Not really, but maybe. <laughs> So, bam, we're in orbit. Go here. The map's changed. Reef is not up here anymore. Now it's over here, which bugged me out for a second, but I've already gotten used to it. You got your uh, lineup for weeklies and nightfalls down here. Vanguard and Crucible have their own little blurb up here. Here's a prelude cinematic more info so we're gonna go to the tower and have a look around if you're wondering what these are these are when you mark a mission I'll show you that right now in the menu see now like this is an ascended epilogue 170 attack instead of being 365 we got ghosts I made sure to buy relic iron one because relic iron always seemed to be the pain in the butt for me this is a new cloak I just got, a blue one, and it's 160 defense compared to my uh, new Iron Banner cloak, which is 30 defense, and all these other older ones, which are only 140. And this cloak does not have any abilities, because cloaks will have abilities on them now. Can't have artifacts yet, because I'm not level 40. And now you can actually go and look at your emotes. You can spin your guy around while he points. Preview email. Okay. So, yeah, before we go to the tower, I'll just show you a quick look at this. Now there's these quests. There's an abandoned quest, like giant tablet cell phone looking thing. And uh, you can take them, and if you mark them in the corner like this, that's what will uh, show up on the planets. It'll have this logo, and it'll actually give you or highlight the mission you need to go to. Now there's a gunsmith rep, which uh, the guns you could pick up to test was yesterday that's Wednesdays and if you test it and you pass it you'll get something next Wednesday uh, the, now only the faction that you uh, pledge allegiance to their rep will show up in here not any of the other ones which is kind of annoying you can hand in your bounties you can complete them right here but I've been hoarding these 5,000 ones for over a week now <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much with these, like Dark Below, Fruit of the Garden, there was uh, Versus the Fallen. This is r redoing the story over, except uh, you get some stuff that's actually useful. Some, not very much. So if you wanted to wait until you had your new subclass, you could replay everything for bonus XP, but I'm just going to sit on some of this, and I'm sure the Taken King will be plenty XP. And me and Johnny and Turk plan on running the Vanguard playlist over and over t for Engrams and other stuff because of the new stacking multiplier. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with that, is if you keep running Vanguard playlists, the first one you're guaranteed a purple Engram, then after that there's chances of better loot. And since it's a strike, you'll be able to use the Three of Coins, the new item that Zer will be selling tomorrow, possibly. It might not be until next week where you get a chance of an exotic drop which that'd be nice to get uh, some of the new exotics there's one that I saw that looked like a bullpup AK that did arc damage had crappy impact but 
looked phenomenal. It, it was an amazing looking gun. Oh, here's my dead orbit badge. Yeah, so the men this menu hasn't changed up too much. I mean, now you got these down here, your medallion and uh, dead orbit badge. Your missions, and I'm just tracking these. Let's go to the tower. Have a look around. Oh, Here we are in the tower, and everybody's gone now. Okay, um, so here's what everybody wanted to see in the stream: bank space, bank space, bank space. Seventy-two weapon slots. I only got two spots open now. I like to hoard. Two pages for your armor, too, and double your general. That's that. Books. Books for the Titans. Too heavy. And let's see. We'll uh, see everyone, the stuff that's just out here first. So, this is what I was talking about. Morning, now you have rep, and there's guns you can pick up. Uh, the Amalon weapons, as you can see, Amalon weapons were just crucible testing, whereas the Hake and the Saros uh, rocket launcher were uh, player versus environment testing. So, yeah, get these, try to get them to rank one. I think you'll still get something regardless because you're testing, it just might not be as good. Uh, the, the bounty is, I can tell you one thing about this. Uh, there isn't any more 5,000 XP bounties that I've seen. 2,500 or 3,000. And a lot of these are Thank you. way more simple. I should probably pick some of these up for today, huh? Updating schedule. 10,000 XP. 30. 30. Resources Checking. on Venus. So, Eris is not over there anymore. Eris is down here in the basement by the stairs. So here she is. And if you start I doing the story of the stuff the against the hive, the dark below that uh, quest in my menu here, I'll just show you quick. This one. You actually do part of the original the story and then go into the dark below DLC. Good. But anyway, you start getting rep for her again because now you'll get packages. And as a... Uh, my good buddy Johnny pointed out, you can buy the faction stuff for any of your people. You don't have to Keep switch silent. characters to buy an armband or something for them. These guys are all here. Uh, Shax here will have bounties come next week. How are you holding up, and now, right here is your blueprints. So, as you can see, I collected all of the hunter stuff for year one. And in year two, this is the stuff that came back over. Celestial Nighthawk. Hey, the Don't Touch Me has made it back. I, you know, I didn't really pay attention to this. The Young Hamakara Spine is hand cannon reload now. That's pretty nifty. And the Don't Touch Me is our hand cannon gloves now, too. That's kind of weird. Shield starts over immediately after picking up orbs. Gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Huh. Pulse rifle ammo and void burn. Let's take a look at this alpha loopy here. Pulse rifle, shotgun, void, void armor. The passive and the aggressive. The passive aggressive. Let's take a look at these blueprints. So, yep. So the only thing I didn't get was a necrochasm for uh, the exotic weapons. So if I really wanted, I could just come here and I could buy another mythic quest to give somebody. Which I literally just got that, like, two weeks before this patch something like that a week and a half it's not like I had it forever it's just okay 
Apparently it's better in player versus player. I haven't even tried it yet. Let's see what made it over. The truth. The Thunder Lord. Fourth Horseman. Invective. Red Death. Bad Juju. Hawk Moon. Last Word. Suros and Monte Carlo. And I've looked at all these, like actually went and looked at them. The only one they changed aesthetically is this one. And if you notice, the stats are kind of bunk in comparison to the ri original. I wonder if they're still the same. No, they changed them on both. Suros was a lot more deadly, but there's an ability on the Suros that's better. Now I was talking about Abandoned Quest, and this is a giant tablet right here. This is where you'll go to get all of your story missions again. They show up in here. Now these guys, yep. I'll come and talk to them oh, a I lot more. Well, they don't have anything new. Around. But now you have these, the Blade Dancer and Gunslinger quests, which I believe go to 10. You have to do a certain stuff, and then eventually you'll get a new class item, a new cloak, if you're a hunter, that uh, has way more defense and actually has abilities on it where you can level certain weapon types. So that's the middle. We're gonna go to the right first, because my hunter is dead orbit. So we'll go talk to Emo Bob over here. Do 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 do. Are you ready? Bob. When you go to a faction person now, what you'll be able to uh, do materials exchange with them. Um, right now, I'm still getting the thing for doing the nightfall, so it's an extra um, like 12 points or something onto whatever rep you get, and. Uh, yeah, some of these are worth more than others. I don't remember how it works, but yeah, material exchange for rep again. But it's a little more uh, stuff that's useful for you that you can turn not in. Much longer it's not, got it's not like before when it was just like spin metal or relic iron or something like that. Here's this Opening guy. Transaction. You can still buy stuff from him. The vanguards, thank you. But so. First of all, I'll show you down here. You go to the bar if you want to pick up your dance emotes in the future. Down here is where your point is. And eventually you'll be able to get other ones. The I'm not going to go over to the future war call. 12 pack a day smoker lady. I'm going to come over here and show you this quick. New ships, old ships, lots of them. Promotional, the first ship was promotional. So yeah, there's a lot of new ships. Actually, Future Warcall gets a pretty groovy ship here. I think that looks pretty sweet. Fatal Vision, yes. Very orange, very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. I am flighty. <laughs> so there's ships over here. And oh, come on, pick it up. And your bikes. There's two pages of bikes too. Which I I'm wondering when we're getting that year one stuff, all that black stuff. The tiger logo and the uh, tiger emblem and the armor shader and all that. I'm guessing that'll probably be next Tuesday. That's that side. Assuming when Iron Banner starts up, it'll be in the middle again, but that's not open at the moment. Jogging, jogging, jogging. And here we are. So, first day of this patch, she had two new shaders and one new emblem. Great. Oh, she has one new shader today, the new chrysanthemum. Which I decided I'm going to start collecting these, so I'm going to waste some money on a shader. Let's put that on. Be the 
greed guy for a little bit here. I need fabrics, I need shaders, I need patterns. So, shader collection. Old ones, new ones. So they've had chrysanthemum, blue marble, and this Atlantean 5055 for sale so far. I think this is, yeah, these are all vendor shaders. So now I have all the ones that she sells. So now it'll be just doing activities. Somebody should message me or tell me if they got either of these. This walkabout shader, the purple guy, or the yellow guy shader, Lost City. Because both of these are apparently from doing activities strike or crucible playlist and I never got either of those and I played a lot of strikes and a fair amount of crucible got all your new Taken King emblems there's even Cryptarch emblems now Vanguard strikes, Taken King quests oh that's a Vanguard strike one? yeah I'm definitely using that Here's ones for completing your subclass missions. Those uh, quests I was showing you, there's one for each one. And there's a lot of emblems. You can buy your old ones back. There's a few different ones. New Iron Banner ones are cool. I really like that one. Like, see how they just kind of flip some things? I really want that one. That's the one right there. Or if I can get that, that looks pretty fresh too. And they didn't keep all of the extra promotional ones because if you played Vanilla Destiny, there was probably like eight or ten of these, and they're not here anymore. So there's emblems and shaders. I wonder where Zero will be on the first week probably won't have anything good to Where sell this, this week it'll be next week but maybe they'll yes, surprise sir. us so if you really want a new ghost the speaker has them they're not very good I bought relic iron ones uh, he's got a couple 36 ones helium and relic iron but yeah he's got some shells safe. for you and that's pretty much it all of the giant tablets to get stuff back showed you a vendor or not a vendor the faction guys that's pretty much it for here there'll be uh, new stuff shortly so have a look around buy what you want play through some story if you want Def I'm gonna definitely go check out crucible sometime here but not sometime soon because I think I'm going to run through the story as my hunter so yeah have a good day and maybe we'll play sometime hit me up I'm Roy Fahal have a safe day oh yeah before I go I should show you this now when you bring up your ghosts those missions I was tracking or quests I was tracking you can even track bounties. You can bring up your ghost and get them here. And your ghost will scan stuff in the environment. I haven't scanned anything yet. But yeah, if you want to track a bounty or you want to track your quests, you can do it right here.